Mm. That is very good. Very fresh. It doesn't taste the way it smells to me. It tastes like a like a dried fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when we make all the new videos. Today we're in Chinatown in Bangkok, one of the world's largest. Yeah, we just got here and the overall feel and vibe is just awesome. There's so much going on. Yeah. People are out, street vendors. People are walking around trying different food. There's music and just an overall really exciting feel. And we're gonna just go walk around and uh, maybe try some different things. Yeah, and exactly. I've show seen... you guys some different food that maybe you've never seen before. Maybe yeah. get Chris to try a bug or two or uh, maybe a scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try durian though. I have seen some durian, so we haven't tried that yet. Uh, there is some here, but I think we're gonna go into the market a bit more and find some there. But yeah, we're on the main street here, which is a one-way street. It's very busy, but once you get off this, there's little markets tucked in. You can get like anything from like clothing to shoes, food, everything you can think of here in Chinatown. So yeah, we're just gonna wander around, bring you guys along, try, like Shana said, try different food and just see what we can find in the hidden streets just here. Just wander yeah, and exactly. have some fun. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, let's get going and see what we find.
That is very good. Very fresh. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna try the coconut ice cream as well. Always a good plan to get coconut ice cream in Thailand. That's good. See ya. <laughs> so fresh. Another thing you'll see too a lot is these uh, drinks that are in the ice. So it's uh, 5.30 right now and Chinatown comes to life at night, of course. That's when uh, it cools down, everybody's off work and uh, they want to go out and uh, eat different foods and stuff like that. So it's cool actually, they actually they set up all these uh, barriers on the street so they block off one lane of traffic on each side of the road so you can easily walk up and down the main road here and not have to worry about getting hit by tuk-tuks or other, other vehicles motorbikes um but yeah it's uh yeah it's just getting started out here again nighttime is when it comes to life so yeah uh, we're excited to be down here kind of at the beginning of it to see what it's like before and then as everything changes over to nighttime and see what different types of foods there are all right so we're gonna buy some chinese donuts let's see what they're like fresh so yeah the bag of probably maybe 15, 15 little donuts, like Timbits. Yeah, yeah donut, <laughs> it's really good. Just simple, not too sweet. Good dough. Wanna try one? Yeah. Try it with your ice cream, just dip it in the ice cream. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try one. Mmm, this is really good. Yeah, what does it remind you of? It's like Bannock, yeah. <laughs> which is like an Indian fry bread. Totally what it's That's like. totally what it's like, yeah. This is good though, it's very fluffy. It's not too sweet. Yeah. Like I hint, like it. A hint of sweetness of it. Very good. Aloy Mac. <laughs> All right, so we've never actually tried durian fresh, any of us. We've had like durian ice cream and stuff like that, but it's not the same. So yeah, there's, it's everywhere right now. It's in season. So we found this guy close to where the market starts. So we're going to get uh, a pack here with four different ones in it. And we're all gonna try it for the very first time. Some people hate it, some people love it. We don't know yet, so this is our first experience. You guys get to see it. So let's buy this and uh, I'll give it a try. I was gonna give us fresh, so we won't have to open it. Hi, Roy Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be the first one to try this durian fruit. Uh, we've been very excited to all try this for the very first time, and of course, we had to do it in Thailand. So, um, one thing I noticed personally is a lot of people talk about how bad this fruit smells. Like, there's hotels that won't allow you to bring it in, or other businesses and things like that. You can't actually go into places with durian because it's such a strong, pungent smell. For me, smelling it for the first time, I don't. I don't get that. I get like, I can smell like um, kind of like a sweet fruit smell. Maybe something a little bit off, but not that bad. Uh, maybe I'm just, my senses are very lucky compared to other people's, but it doesn't smell that bad to me. It's weird because uh, one time when we were back in Canada, Chris went to an Asian market and he bought a durian uh, ice cream bar or something like that. The minute he opened it up, the first thing I said is, I smell propane. I don't know why, I just smell propane. And here, smelling it actually fresh and in real life, it, it smells, there's a propane smell to me. I don't know why. So it's like propane, but kind of like a, a sweet, fruity smell. I don't know. So I'm gonna be brave and try the world's worst smelling fruit. Mmm. That's good. It's very creamy. It doesn't taste the way it smells to me. It just tastes super creamy, like it's custardy. I've heard that it has a lot of health benefits too. 
I don't know what they are, but apparently it's supposed to be very healthy and really good for you, so. <laughs> good, yeah. Very creamy. This is good? Yeah. It's like avocado. Avocado? A little bit, yeah. Texture wise, too. Yeah. Because it's creamy? Uh huh. It's good, though. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't expect it to be creamy at all. Alright, so now it's my turn. Oh, I've been like dying to try this fresh, so hopefully I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, very comfortable. I like the flavor of it. Funny, because I've had like jackfruit and stuff, and I don't like the texture of that. The flavor is okay. But the texture and the flavor of this is really good. It's very sweet. It doesn't have a bad taste at all. Some people say it tastes like cheese. Or onion, they say. Or onion. It doesn't taste like that to me. No. I really like it. And yeah, like Shane said, health benefits, so eat up. <laughs> it's really good. If you're in Bangkok or anywhere in Thailand they're selling durian, definitely try it. It's really good. So this place has a bunch of different fried foods. They got shrimp, fried chicken, dumplings, and uh, pork bread. So I'm gonna try a pork bread, see what it's like. It looks like a ball of like um, minced pork or something with onion on top of some bread. So we'll try it out. Hello. The uh, pork bread? Yeah. And like sauce? Yes. Spicy? No. So sweet? Sweet sauce, yeah. So 60 baht for a bowl of them. You guys are seeing the conversion on the screen. Thank you. You got oh, Okay. So I thought I was just getting one for that, but it's like, I think there's one, two, three. Have a good night snack. Yeah, exactly. All this food can be full after. You don't need dinner. This will be our dinner. So yeah, it's, they put a sweet sauce on it as well. Exactly what it is, just a minced pork and there's like bread on the bottom and it's deep fried with a batter. It's good. Yeah, there's onion in it. Uh, looks like maybe some carrot, maybe some cabbage. I'm not sure. Is there onion and cabbage in it? In the pork? Is it onion and cabbage? Yeah. Carrot. I can see the carrot, but yeah, it's a good little snack. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all this, so maybe they have a lid I can take it with me. So we explored as much as we could down this street. It didn't go that far actually. So we're gonna head down, see if there's any more streets like this. Picked up a Chang as well. It's, it's warm walking around, even though it's later at night. Definitely cooler than in the middle of the day though. But yeah, lots of fruit. You definitely find anything you want as far as fruit goes. From like cherries to grapes, all sorts of different ones. Here's the donut guy again. 
Pato, Pato. I think Pato is the same in, uh, in Thai as it is in Spanish. Yeah, we're gonna wander around a little bit further down and see what else we find. some bugs or grubs or something so we found the stand so he's gonna try I don't know grasshoppers I want him to try a scorpion but we're waiting for Scott our friend to come well Scott and Kathy but uh, Kathy and I have agreed that it's gonna be Scott and Chris that are gonna try the scorpion not us so I think what's here grasshoppers he's gonna try a little sample of everything for you and then he can tell you what his favorite grub is yeah, they have a big set of these too. Got it, Cup? Can I have a bit? Yeah. Can I try a little bit of each? Yeah, just like a little bit of each. Sample? The sample? Just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Like a bug salad. <laughs> sticks to poke them with so as you can see a little smorgasbord. I'm gonna start with the grasshopper because I've had those before. Look at those little beady eyes. Should I eat the whole thing? Or? Of course you should. <laughs> so it's the same as in Mexico. It reminds me of pumpkin seeds. So I've had those before. Here's a cricket. Jiminy Cricket. A little bit bitter. A bigger one. So never had a cricket. Very similar to the grasshopper. Like pumpkin seed. What if anybody wants to share with me? It's good that they put some seasonings on there for you. Yeah, it. so there's some uh, soy sauce and some white pepper on yeah, it. You don't want boring bugs. So here's a silkworm. <laughs> Need those I'm, save, I'm saving the grub for the end. Flavorful <laughs> as possible. <laughs> that was like powder. Was like, powder? Yeah, seriously, I'll eat another one. It was so good. <laughs> it's like Getting powder. Getting brave with the grub? Yeah. And then... The other one. called a scorched spider is this little I don't know where it is here. Oh here. It looks like a grasshopper to you. Pumpkin seed. Honestly they're not that bad. And then this is the grub. And there was this chewy inside, you know like uh what is it on the Lion King? <laughs> They're really, none of them are that bad actually. They're like, because they're fried, it's texturally, it's really good. Flavor wise, a lot of them are very similar to like a nut or a pumpkin seed to me. Um, 
honestly, I can see why people eat these in in famine when they didn't have any protein and stuff like that. You eat this, it's high in protein. Uh, yeah, really not that bad. So Lakai is going to try now. Okay. Um, Which one are you trying first? So this is the grasshopper. Look at this big one. You want to try the big one? No. <laughs> Here, try this guy, he's a bit smaller. I don't, want, this? I don't want the grasshopper. You don't want the grasshopper? You want the cricket? No. Are we gonna do? Is this guy good? Just wait, mommy's gonna get it. Hold on. Is this one good? Yeah. What one did you try? Uh oh. <laughs> That's a no go. No, no more? No. Let's see if this guy wants to try. I thought about eating both. No, nope. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> Nobody else wants to try. We'll wait and see if anybody else goes out. Nobody will try it. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are here, give it a try. It's really not that bad. Makes for uh, good content for you guys too. So yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go down the side street here and see. You wanna try? I already ate it, one of each already. Have you ever have you had them before? You wanna try it? Do you wanna try it for YouTube? Sure. Yeah, okay. Be in the YouTube we, video? we got a taker. So there's grasshopper, cricket, there's silkworm, a grub, and then some like sports spider it says. So I yeah. say you just try one of each and you can I'll see what just, your favorite I'll is. Just do the grasshopper. Oh yeah, try the grasshopper, yeah. Have you ever had pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds? I think so. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Our brave our brave friend here. Try the, try the silkworm. It's like powdery, it's really not that bad. You know, I'm gonna try every one of them. <laughs> it's gonna get addicted. <laughs> uh, Cricket? Yeah, it tastes like a, like a dried fish. Yeah, okay, yeah, kind of yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. It's really not that bad. This is just the it's just like, powder. Yeah, it's just, just the powder. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing just disintegrates there. in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. You wanna try one of the grubs? It's a little more gushy, no? <laughs> Where are you from? Mongolia. Mongolia, nice, awesome. We're from Canada originally, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I wanna go to Mongolia sometime yes. for sure. Yeah, it's for sure. Beautiful there. <laughs> Add me on Instagram. I'm 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 yeah. I'm gonna start posting like tours. Oh really? Oh that's yeah. cool. Yeah, well, we'll get you on Instagram and then you can get our you'll be in the YouTube video yeah, coming we'll, out on Sunday, so we'll send you a message and then uh, send you the link. Yeah. Thank you for the food. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> for the appetizer. Thank you for trying yeah, it. Yeah, somebody keep in did. touch. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll reach out on do, Instagram. Uh, the tours are going to be in Mongolia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so whenever we come there, we can we can hook up with you and go do some tours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. Perfect. Sounds good. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you. <laughs> chestnuts and they smell really good have such a nice toasty smell I don't think I've ever had a chestnut before maybe when I was a kid a long time ago at Christmas but I don't remember what they taste like so I'm gonna try it actually that one I'm actually get it right out there that one was already half shelled so I gotta do it do it right from scratch crack it open never done this before so bear with me Kind of a it's a pretty thick good thing I have nails a pretty thick shell on it hmm mm, very good they're good they're very um they're very like starchy nut I find it's hard to get them out <laughs> okay there we go Yeah, definitely like kind of pasty. They have a good flavor. The, the sweet roasted flavor. No, they're good. I like them. 
so there's this little back alley down here with different, uh, looks like birds and stuff. We're just gonna wander down here, see what there is, different nuts. Sunny cup, mushrooms, beans. But yeah, it's uh, always fun just exploring these little side streets like this, side street adventure. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. A little tour around Chinatown here in Bangkok. Yeah, super fun. This place is awesome. Yeah. It's like you just can't get bored walking <laughs> yeah. around. There's so much to see and so many different things to try. I'm just, I'm glad that we tried a few different things. Yeah. I'm really, really glad that I got to try durian for the first time. That was a, kind of yeah. like a bucket list thing that I've wanted to do here. I love and the it boys too. tried it too. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. There's quite it's a very bit left sweet. over. So yeah. I don't know personally like if I would sit down and eat a whole bunch of it. <laughs> yeah. I know it's good for you. It, it does have health benefits like I mentioned before, but um, maybe for the fact of the health benefits, yeah. but um, it's it's good. It's yeah. just, it's it would be hard to eat a whole bunch of yeah, it. Yeah, there's no way I could smash a whole durian, but to have I a few I think you pieces. could. You see, you like it. <laughs> he likes it more than I do, so. I don't know, but it depends on the size of durian, I guess, maybe, but not not a whole one. You feel, feel pretty sick. They're quite big. And uh, yeah, we're right by the main road. There's a cool little uh, building across here that uh, has a Chinese theme to it as well. So yeah, it's nice coming down to old Bangkok and uh, exploring around and yeah, like Shayna said, trying new foods, trying bugs. I think I still have some stuck in my oh, teeth. Probably, no no kissing, no kissing. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go home and brush my teeth Yeah, now. no kissing. <laughs> um, also, I was gonna say too, this is a good time of day to come. Yeah. When it's later afternoon, it's cooled down a little bit. Uh, today, there's a really, really nice breeze. Yeah. So that's been really nice. But yeah, we got down here kind of around Three or three thirty, somewhere around there, and yeah. uh, it's just the temperatures got more and more comfortable as the evening's gone on. And yeah, if we uh, weren't already here for a while, we would probably stay into the evening when it's dark and everything's all lit up. But yeah. we're here in Thailand for a while. We yeah. plan on staying in Bangkok specifically for a while, so we have many more times to come in the future when we can come at night and just see it all lit up and even more vibrant. Yeah, we'll come at night sometime. I also don't want to do a walk through at night. Uh, probably more in the high season to show you guys what it's like when there's a lot of tourists in town So that'll be a video coming up in probably in the next few months anyway So but yeah overall fun day. It's nice to get out as you guys know We've been sick for a bit So it was nice to actually get out and experience Bangkok a bit more and not just the modern part of it So uh, yeah, uh, we'll leave it off there if you guys like it Please leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos And we'll see you in the next one. Sawadee. Sawadee. All right, so our durian got taken away. My precious durian's gone because we're taking <laughs> taking the MRT, so you can't bring durian on the trains. <laughs> durian alarm! Even, yeah, they had like a durian alarm. No, I was kidding. They, <laughs> the lady there's like, no, no durian. I'm like ah, <laughs> it's funny because it's wrapped up and it doesn't smell. But I guess rules are rules. Yeah, I guess I'll have to buy some close to home then. There's some at the big C, so I'll just get some there. Yeah.